Let's take a Remember this guy? Remember the guy who had a fucking meltdown over the, uh, remember, remember the guy who had the meltdown over the children's book? Well, guess what? He's having a meltdown over Lil Nas X. And I haven't seen this yet, so I thought it would be super funny to watch this discount Billy Mays lookalike go over uh, Montero, Call Me By Your Name by Lil Nas X, which is the horniest song that's ever been made, and boy oh boy is it good. Let's do it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Shall we react? Shall we react to the the man child, the the uh the the uh adult baby, the bearded adult baby totally fucking blasted out of his mind on Quaaludes, who's going to freak the fuck out about little Nas X. Call me by your name. So good. If he's watching the video, I don't know. If he is, we'll watch something else. But let's give it a try. Would you give the devil a lap dance or would the devil give me a lap dance? Well, at the end of that, the devil gets killed and, and gets taken over. So I'm guessing that that would be me. I would do whatever is necessary. Okay. Apparently somebody made a fake America account. I saw that. It is such a good song. Is it? Oh, it is the most gay horny song. Maybe WAP is hornier. I don't know. I'm the new ruler of hell. Yeah, I know. I know, Lonnie. But here we go. Let's look go. at the song and video that has caused a stir in recent days. This is it's causing a stir. Montero by Lil Nas X. You may remember Lil Nas X. He's the guy who made Old Town Road, which is uh, quote, true. Quote, he is the guy who made Old Town Road. A country song that sounds a lot like the rough draft of a real country song that somebody wrote in 92 seconds. Oh, I'd like to see you write better, bitch. I bet you don't even play that fucking banjo in the background. It's on the back of a paper plate when they were sleep deprived and drunk. Wake what I'm up. trying to say is that the song sucks. And Why always... are you sleep deprived and drunk? That's you right now. It sucked and I tried to warn people about this when it first came out, but you all wouldn't listen to me. So you made Lil Nas X rich and famous as a yeah! musician, despite his near yeah, total lack. stay mad, little bitch. Of musical talent, despite the fact that he clearly has Matt nothing. Matt Walsh, more like Mad Walsh, am I right? Nothing at all to say or offer whatsoever. Now, here is the consequence. You did this to yourself. Let's, um, we're not, we're not going to watch this. I, I don't think we can make it through this whole thing, but we're going to watch as much as we can. This is Lil Nas X. Montero, let's check it out. Wait, what? Oh, he's gonna play it? Oh, what a loser. Oh, no. Why? We're reacting to a reaction. This should be safe, but it's gonna hit me. Where is he? Where is he gonna? Okay, let's let him get to the end of it and we'll jump ahead and see what his read is. Here we go. Let's just hear what his read is, okay? Um, you know, I, I just, I was watching that video. I kept thinking about, uh, this article that I just saw online, uh, scientists announced that, um, there's, that there's not going to be any, uh, asteroids to threaten the earth for the next 100 years. So there's not going to be any, we don't have to worry about any earth destroying asteroids for at least the next 100 years. And, um, I watch a video like that and I think, well, that is such a disappointment. You know, that. Uh didn't see that one coming from 100 miles away. Dude, that was such a fucking bad joke. Just be like, you know what would have been funnier? Here's how you respond to that, okay? Here's how it would have been funnier. You see something you don't like? Oh my God, that was so shit. That was so shit. I would rather have a, a buffalo take a diarrhea dump in my ear. You don't do this fucking... Well, uh, this reminded me of an article that um, there wasn't going to be any asteroids to destroy the Earth. And uh, that makes me sad because... I would rather have an asteroid um, crash into the earth uh, than listen to this song again. That's sad when the angry video game nerd reviews better than you do. That's, that's devastating news. That, that was our way out. It's a damn asteroid. Now, the first point to make about the satanic imagery that you just saw there is that this dude is trying desperately to shock and offend us with the same routine that... No, he isn't. He's just horny. That was wasn't even all that shocking when Marilyn Manson did it two and a half decades ago. 
that's not even close to the same thing. The tearing the Bible is not the same thing as brutally railing on Satan's dick so that you can subsume his place in hell. This is not interesting. It's not bold. It, 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 kids today, if you're a kid and you see that, and you think, oh, no one's done it. No, this has been, like, they, they've been doing this for decades, this shtick. It's been done a million times. They're still so mad. They're, they're still mad. They're so mad. I mean, I, I've seen cards in Cards Against Humanity that are more surprising and shocking. What? He's, oh my God, he's so yes. mad. And this really is, it, it's, this looks like they wrote a bunch of random, edgy words and concepts onto, a, onto, onto some strips of paper. You know, what are you talking about? Okay, for those of you who haven't seen the video, real quick, let me just summarize what happens in the video, okay? In the video, Lil Nas X is playing Eve in the Garden of Eden and the snake, which is a snake-human hybrid with some of the best prosthetic makeup I've ever seen in my life, attempts to uh, seduce Eve, which is Lil Nas X, and succeeds by hypnotizing Lil Nas X and then kissing him and licking his body. This then damns Lil Nas X um, to judgment by society. That society is highly performative and have ridiculous costumes and Lil Nas X is judged by society and found to be lacking and then goes to hell on a giant stripper pole that fires down into hell where he lands in front of, once again, some of the best prosthetic makeup uh, uh, I've ever seen on Satan who is displeased by the dancing for a while until the raw horniness of Lil Nas X is so much that even Satan can't help but moan in happiness. And then Lil Nas X breaks Satan's neck and takes over hell. I'm sorry, that's not random. That is a very obvious and strict narrative, okay? And that narrative is pretty clear if you think about it. Uh, you can't resist the temptation of being a fucking raging sexy, horny, pog as fuck queer, and then society judges you and sends you to hell. So you just take over hell because you're never going to be let out of hell by society because they've judged you as bad for falling in love with a sexy snake. Okay, there you go. There's the thing. Matt Walsh has no brain cells to rub together at this point, has no fucking clue what he's talking about. They wrote like Satan, stripper, murder, lap dance, and then threw it all into a hat and drew a handful randomly and made it. Do you think, wait, wait, do you think, um, do you think Matt Walsh struggles with object permanence? Because this sounds like he's like, his brain is incapable of putting together a narrative. It into a music video, even the Satan shoe that he's putting out. That's gotten a lot of attention with human blood in the soul. The Woo! way it's designed, it makes it look like something. I want those shoes. Something that the goth kids in my high school made themselves. Yo, Pog! Yo! I love this dance. These kids are Pog. ...at home. We're just missing the fishnet stockings. It's all just painfully derivative and boring. With that said, this guy is doing this, and here's the one difference. He's doing this after intentionally and carefully cultivating a following of young children, not teenagers. <sighs> Matt Walsh is actually, Matt Walsh is actually incapable of not like, this guy sees pedophilia everywhere. He literally, he, we watched the other day a video where Matt Walsh called reading the gay BCs, a book that just is an ABC book, but uses gay terms like gay, lesbian, etc., to teach kids those terms, was was child child abuse. What? Teenagers. Okay, you want to know how young? He appeared on Sesame Street. He wrote a. Ch yeah. So did. Wait a second. Do you want to know who else appeared on Sesame Street? 
James Gandolfini, Katy Perry. Haven't presidents who did war crimes been on Sesame Street? Children's book. He performed at elementary schools. He even said recently. Yeah, notice that when he was at the elementary school, he wasn't dressed in a, a fucking stripper outfit. You're literally getting owned right now by the video you're using. And this is his quote, that children are his core audience. So while the Satanist stuff isn't- Damn, maybe Matt Walsh, maybe you should pick up a fucking guitar and write some songs that children will like. Oh wait, you fail at it. You wouldn't be able to. Lil Nas X apparently is making music good enough for everybody to enjoy. Oh, he doesn't even, what's the date of that article? I don't know, let's find out. Uh, January 5th? Yeah, January 5th, long before this song even came out. Children are his core audience. So while the Satanist so stuff isn't new. So what? Who are interesting. The, wait a second. Here's another thing. Even if children are your core audience, you can make things that are not for children. You notice that um, you notice that the video has content warnings, explicit content warnings. Yeah, there you go. Guess what? You can you want to know who else did this? Yo, you want to know who else did this? Ready? I'm going to blow y'all minds. Ready? You know who else did this? J.R.R. Tolkien. Christian's favorite fantasy writer. He wrote The Hobbit for children, and then he wrote The Lord of the Rings for adults. Oh, God, the scandal! I hate... M Matt Walsh is such a, such a dullard. Uh, he is perhaps blazing a new trail by specifically marketing this to young children. I know they like do, Gay five fish, years but... old. His own core audience, he says. Now, that doesn't make him a rebel or a genius. Uh, just a predator. Now, he's a, a predator? Are oh, my God. How just remember. To conservatives, being a predator is writing a song you don't like. That makes you a predator. The when conservatives say things, they none of it means anything. they when when conservatives talk, you may as well just ignore everything they say. They literally don't have they don't believe in the meanings of words. You're a predator because you write music that comes from your experience as a gay man in America and embraces that lovingly, and because some parents choose to buy that music for their kids, that makes you a predator. Makes you a predator. No, he's calling him a predator because he's gay. No, he's calling him a predator because he's gay. That's why. It's an old-ass stereotype about gay people. A disgusting dirtbag predator who shouldn't be allowed within 50 yards of a school ever again. And I'd say that even... <laughs> well, look, Matt Walsh would know, seeing as how he's not allowed within 15 yards of a school without this song because his music is so stupid that I'm afraid it might have an effect on children that's very similar to the kind of effect that uh, repeat head trauma from football might have on them. Okay. Matt Walsh is offensively unfunny. <laughs> this, this music, <laughs> I hated this song so much that it made me feel like this song would have an effect on your head like getting hit in the head with a heavy object which would induce a coma unironically unironically the irate gamer is funnier than matt walsh his music generally and this in particular is is stupid desperate cliched nihilistic semi-coherent satan got killed <laughs> what's up with that what were they thinking what were they thinking Let's see. Let's find another. You know what? I want to react. I, I find Matt Walsh to be such a pathetic loser. You know, one of the I great things love, about... I would absolutely love to blow this guy out on something. Let's find another one. Oh. 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 Uh-oh. Oh, he's got a whole... Oh, my God. Oh, he did another one. He's done three videos on Lil Nas X. Three. Look at this. He did a 49-minute video about pop culture predators featuring Lil Nas X as the Pied Piper. 
And now he did another one. Let's watch this one, please. The discussion around the new song and video from Lil Nas X, which features the rapper sliding down to hell on a stripper pole and giving a lap dance to Satan. Has oh, oh, I'm going to faint. Oh, a gay man on a stripper pole. Oh, I can't handle it. Weak constitution, snowflake shit. Mostly focused on the allegedly shocking nature of the content. But there's nothing new about a musical artist, I use that term loosely, resorting to satanic imagery in order to generate wah, wah. publicity and controversy. Guys like Marilyn Manson- wait, Rob this is the same video! This is not- I'm telling you, wait, look. This is not the same video. We watched this one. Now- He's doing this video with the same the discussion around argument. the new song and video from Lil Nas X. Wait, it has to be a separate video. He's wearing a different shirt. Oh my God. Features the rapper sliding down to hell make imagery in order to generate publicity and controversy. Guys like Marilyn Manson, Rob Zombie, you know, they were doing it in the 90s. Metal bands were doing it before them. Ozzy Osbourne was decapitating bats with his teeth on stage two decades before Lil Nas X was even born. The fact that and guess all what? of this stuff- Idiot boomers like you were mad about it then, and you're gonna die mad about it. All you're ever gonna do is keep crying about art you don't understand. ...has been done before doesn't make it any less abhorrent, but it does make it banal and uninteresting. That's why you need to make three videos about it. That's how uninteresting it is. It's so uninteresting that you have to make three videos about it. We, we have- we have- Reason of, to object to this sort of material, but no reason to be shocked by it, is the point. What's the reason? We also miss the point if we're focused only on the content itself as if it exists in a vacuum. If, if Lil Nas X is blazing any new trails, it's only because he's the first person, I think, to go this route less than a year after performing with Elmo on Sesame Street. This is the song. No, I don't, I don't buy it. Also, he's very mad about this. This is the third time he's brought that up. I think Matt Walsh was is just really mad that he... Do you th Chat, do you think that Matt Walsh is just mad that he didn't get to go on the Sesame Street set? He's like, oh, I can't believe Sesame Street would platform him. I wanted to get close to... Okay, I mean, I wanted to meet Elmo. I mean, I wanted to be on Sesame Street. Ooh. There he is on Sesame Street with, with, his, uh, with his first hit, Old Town Road, a song so bad that it makes you long for the traditional country stylings of, you know, Luke Bryan. Lil what? A song so bad that it makes you want to listen to something better. Wow! Owned. Nas X gained a large audience of very young children. And this was no accident. The rapper and his- <laughs> This video is so bad it makes me want to watch a better video. Owned! handlers made a decision to cultivate this fan base with appearances on children's television shows like you just saw True, performances Pandas at elementary man. schools True. they even released a children's book who watches this guy louis baton uh 43,000 people watch this video which was posted two days ago he has 224,000 subscribers whoops damn somebody is now, in an, appearance, in, a, in an appearance on The View less than three months ago, he explicitly attributed his success to children. Let's listen to that. Well, you know, uh, with the success of Old Town Road, you know, majority of that success, I would like attribute to kids. Uh, and they like they love this song so much. And I this idea to do a children's book was brought to, brought to me. And I was like, this makes perfect sense. Now, around the same time, a headline on NPR's uh, website also from a few months ago, reports, quote, Lil Nas X says children are his core audience right now, and that's okay. Well, turns out it's really not okay. Well, Why? No argument, just... While responding to the backlash on Twitter this week... Okay, you say it's because he looks super tired? Okay, there's this thing. Okay, have you ever heard of a thing called a depressant? Okay. Um, there's some really strong ones out there. Some of them are called... Um, Xanax, Quaaludes, you know, horse tranquilizers, ketamine, uh, unbelievable amounts of booze. Um, uh, take your pick, okay? Look, you, we all know that when you're in this line of business, you got to do something to dull the pain. 
to dull the crushing uh, the crushing knowledge that you are irrelevant, unfunny, no one likes you, and you can't play the banjo. The artist said that he, um, he quote, had nine months to plan this rollout and brag that, quote, y'all are not going to win, talking about his critics like me. Now, wh while, while he deserved... Real quick, real quick, let's just do a live, let's just do a perfect screenshot, by the way. Let's just do a live search. Let's listen. Um... Let's see. Let's see if we can get it. How do we find it here? Number one on iTunes. Number one on iTunes. Oh, shit. Number one on iTunes. Yeah, looks like you're getting blown out, Matt Walsh. Lol. Looks like his critics are losing. You crying baby. Oh, you're Praise never going to. You are going to. You are, listen, Matt Walsh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you are going to, you are going to enter the grave of old age, never having accomplished even a fraction of what little Nas X did by giving Satan a lap dance. Never. No one, you will be forgotten by history. Lil Nas X, a hundred years from now, people will remember Lil Nas X. They won't remember you. For composing a mostly coherent tweet there with correct punctuation, a bar that he doesn't often seem to reach. What this post really confirms <laughs> is that he and his record label were very intentionally building his kindergarten yeah, fan bit, base but... while also planning at the same time this move into demonic and pornographic territory. Marilyn Manson. All right, that's a bit much. It's not fucking you know, pornographic, uh, was, was Wasn't it's doing sing-alongs with Elmo or appearing on The View to talk about his... Wait a second. Yes, he was. Marilyn Manson was on Sesame Street. Isn't that correct? Wasn't Marilyn Manson on Sesame Street? Or was it a different show? It might have been a different show. It might have been a different show. I swear to God, I've seen Marilyn Manson on some kid's show. I can't remember. I swear to God. It was, oh, he was in Clone High? No, there was another thing. Oh, maybe he wasn't. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. I could have sworn I remembered a video where Marilyn Manson was on a show like that. Is Marilyn... I don't know if Mar Marilyn Manson is an abuser. Who Children's fucking cares, Children's book though? three months before Antichrist Superstar came out. The record industry, along with Hollywood, has always had designs on your children. We know that. What makes nah, this so. notable right now is how incredibly True, blatant it is. Gina. And how young their True, targets Gina. are. Granted, you know, it's it's not the fault of Lil Nas X or his record label, Columbia Records, by the way. If you allowed your five-year-old to live- Oh, get the engines of cancel culture running. Oh, Columbia Records, we're coming for you. Matt Walsh is coming. Either Day of Reckoning is coming. I'm going to rant about a children's book on the internet, and, and I'm going to dedicate it to you. You watch. I'll have a firm word with your manager listen to his music on repeat. That doesn't get them off the hook. The fact that you shouldn't have allowed them to prey on your kids doesn't provide them a moral justification for doing so. Still, it's worth noting uh, the lyrics to the song that elementary schools invited Lil Nas X to come perform. Here's part of the second verse. It says, riding on a tractor, lean all in my bladder, cheated on my baby, you can go and ask her, my life is a movie, bull riding and boobies. Now, not only is this the most aggressively stupid assemblage of words that the English language is. I get it. I get it. Diarrhea dump in your ear. I get it. Never been forced to endure is also not exactly family friendly. <sighs> I mean, why were you letting your kids sing this? Do you remember how many of you remember when you're, and maybe, maybe this is dating me, but, uh, how many, how many um, of your family members listened to the Beatles with you when you were younger? 
Remember the remember the the Beatles? Remember when you loved that song when you were a kid that was called Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? A song that's literally about LSD? Woo! He is, after all, singing about driving his tractor while hopped up on cough syrup and alcohol after cheating on his Lucy significant other. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. If you diamonds. have your third grader go around singing the line, My Life is a Movie, Bull Riding and Boobies. Oh, shut up, Gay Fesh. Come on. You know it fucking... A significant amount of the blame has to fall at your own feet. But this, again, does not excuse the music industry predators who are trying to remake your children in their own image as brain-dead degenerates. Woo! All right, we got our first, we got our first explicit Nazi ge- fucking dog whistle. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But it, it, it does provide a valuable learning opportunity. Okay. The lesson is that the entertainment industry, with rare exception, is not on your side. It has its own notions about what sort of person your child should be, what values he should hold, what ideas he should have, how he should speak, what 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 he should wear, everything. Who he should hang out with, how he should conduct himself. And not only has these plans for your kid, but it also possesses perhaps the most powerful mechanism for enacting them. Art, you know, even bad art, moves people in ways that no other medium can. Which is why, by the way, it's also very stupid when you hear even conservatives- very Stupid. Listen, literally, right now, huh, stupid art. It's stupid, meaningless, trash art, but it will destroy your children. Literally, the oscillation uh, th- right through that fascist point, weak and strong at the same time. Literally. Look at that fucking turn on a dime. Who will look at something like this and they'll say, well, it, it's just a song. What's the big deal? Don't make a big deal out of it. It's just a song. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. It's, it's, it's only art. It's only the number one thing that moves and motivates people. That's all it is. It's, 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 it's something that perhaps like nothing else can... Can mo- what do you think moves and motivates Matt Walsh? I feel like Matt Walsh is the kind of guy who would get teary over like a like a fucking Walmart Christmas ornament. Like there would be a Walmart Christmas ornament that has like a really well drawn uh like Jesus, and he would just be like, "Oh my God!" Mass produced, has this price tag stuck on Jesus's face, and he's just like, "Oh, it's so beautiful." Old, uh, you know, your, your heart and your mind. That's it. No big deal. True. Morons. <laughs> now it's, it's dumb, dumb. Likely that millions of children who are subscribed to the little not little Nas X YouTube channel um, and allowed by foolish parents to use YouTube without supervision. Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran is the pinnacle of serial art. The way that it moves your bowels into uh, with 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 a, a high level of fiber, okay? Nothing moves you quite like raisin bran and prune juice. It's, it's likely that millions of them were exposed to his Satan lap dance video over the weekend. Adapt, maybe. Which was put out without- Honestly, I, I, my guess is that Matt Walsh's wife is like probably listens to like Lil Nas X and stuff, and and he's really mad, and they're like in the stuck in a loveless marriage. Warning. I mean, let's be real. How long do you think Matt Walsh has lasted? What do you think his highest record is? I'm gonna guess 15 seconds. I guess that he's never come after the 15 second mark in his entire life. Never, not once. 45. Damn, generous. Of course, no attempt made by. Uh, the rapper himself or the record label to warn anybody or say, hey, you know, we're we're making a move now into adult territory. Uh, don't. He's like, he's like, Matt Walsh is like, hello, honey. I wish to perform sex on you. And it would be super awesome if I could put my penis inside of you. Ugh. Sorry, I was too aroused by that description and never mind another time and then his wife's like 
All right. And then she calls up Chad on the phone. Don't let your kid watch this. If they're subscribed to our YouTube channel, probably unsubscribe. None of that. Of course. YouTube itself puts parental filters on all kinds of videos, especially videos that contain conservative political opinions. But they didn't put one on the video with the guy singing about performing fellatio on another man while gyrating on the devil's lap. Call me by your name. Now, this doesn't mean... When you think about all these kids exposed to this over the weekend, um, this does Uh, wife, I would like it if, um, you would, uh, I read this article the other day about people's heads exploding, um, when they're under extreme pressure. And I would like you to perform fellatio with such pressure that, like in the article, my head will explode. And then she's just like, fuck off, Matt, and walks away. Doesn't mean that all, all of them are going to run off and join the satanic temple. Maybe some of them will. But it does mean that they will be exposed and were exposed to depraved True. ideas and Melissa images McDonald. that no they don't understand behind the curtain. and can't we're mentally talk about that filter too. or process. All they're going to know is that eh. the message is coming from their That's favorite fine. singer. No judgment, lady. The man who wrote that fun book and sang that silly song on Sesame Street, and so it can't be that bad. This is how the grooming process works. Oh, he dropped that one in at the end. Yes, this is, yes, it is mass grooming. Oh, a song, somebody writing a song I don't like is mass grooming. And it's why you have to protect your children from it because nobody else will. Who do you think, who do you think you need to protect your children more from? This guy? He's literally got, he's literally got the fucking, uh, the Coomer Wojak. He has the same eyes as the Coomer Wojak. Have you ever seen the, look, at look, watch. We'll just put this side by side because I need you to recognize this. Look at this, like, holy shit. Look, he literally has... Look, right here, it's the same guy. This is an image right here of fucking Matt Walsh. Watch, I'm just gonna show you real quick. Abs literally the same. Look, the same watery bloodshot eyes, the same fucking weird, creepy, unnatural smile. What, literally the same person. This is, you cannot tell me this isn't the same person. Same exact head wrinkles. Same eyes, same head wrinkles, same nose, same mouth, same beard. Coomer Wojak. Listen, who do you really need to protect your children from? I'm going to say Matt Walsh, okay? Listen. He's Coomer. Yeah. They made the Coomer Wojak. Listen, it, reality is fiction. Fiction is reality. That's how it goes, okay? Listen, it's just where we're at. It's where we're at these days.